how, how much do you meditate a day now? I, mean, I, I, yeah. when, I used to be asked that question a lot and I would and I would answer like as follows. Well, I'll uh, do maybe 45 minutes of mindful yoga in the morning and then I'll sit for another half hour or 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. I no longer answer that way because uh, I heard what you said at the very beginning about, you know, sort of just trying to meditate in the car, going from one venue to another and not using your phone and stuff like that. And, and then saying that that may not feel adequate, you need to really ground it in a daily practice that's significant by the clock or something like that. And I would say for the first 25 or 30 years of my own meditation practice that I, I just answered that way and it felt like I was answering the question. When I'm asked that question now by reporters, I, I, I can't answer that way anymore because it, it really doesn't feel um, authentic. It's more, I think, accurate to say, you know, uh, to the degree that it's possible, my whole life is the med is the meditation practice, including the times when I'm mindless, you know, for long stretches of time, because as soon as I recognize that I'm mindless, I'm not mindless anymore. I'm back in the present moment. And that's something that goes on 24 seven. So then life itself becomes not only the practice, but in some sense, the curriculum and everything that arises, the good, the bad, the ugly, what I call after Zorba, the full catastrophe of the human condition, that's the curriculum. That's the invitation. And then the challenge is how to be in wise relationship to it. So stillness is good, but then you can't always be still. You got to get up and move. So you could do running meditation. You can do uh, broadcasting on CNN from your home meditation, you know, nightly news, that it's all part of the unfolding.